Garrett, very nice to meet you. Nice I've meet you. been a fan of Star Trek and Ensign Kim uh, oh. since since the show aired. Oh, right. um, so, I, first question, like I, I, I hate to ask this immediately, yeah. but in the world of Star Trek, has Kim been promoted yet? <laughs> uh, no, he has not. I think Kim needs to make an appearance on Lower Decks as the oldest ensign in Starfleet history. <laughs> that would make sense. But no, there's no promotion. It's really, really sad. So people ask me, what's Kim doing now? I said, well, it's very easy. Kim, because of the lack of promotion, he quits Starfleet, but he rents the retail space right by Starfleet headquarters in San Francisco and opens up Admiral Kim's Bar and Grill, where only ensigns and lower in rank get a discount. So, oh, that's 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 great. Uh, it, th throughout Star Trek, there's also there's been a lot of uh, like buddy team ups uh, in Next Generation. Uh, you, you had LaForge and Data, yes. uh, Data and Warp, like uh, you know, in. Voyager, uh, we had Kim and Paris. Paris. Par Paris has made an appearance on Lower Decks now. <laughs> yes, he has. Uh, so I feel like it's only time, like it's only a matter of time before you get there. I know. Uh, if if you do get to appear on Lower Decks, with yeah. Mike Mike McMahon is right there, yeah, so yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. maybe he'll hear this. <laughs> uh, what what is that is that what you would like to see uh, Edson Kim doing, or do you, do you think he would uh, want to be out there in the stars? At this point, I would do anything to get on something like Lower Decks because I'm more about comedy, right? I mean, I, I joke about I'll play a phaser, I don't care, you know, just get me on the show, right? But yeah, I, you know, whatever whatever direction they want to put me in, if they're going to make me a plate like Paris was, great. And although. He does have the plates of everyone, right? He goes, I've got plates from Janeway to Kim. Mm -hmm. So they do yeah, mention yeah. there is a Kim plate there somewhere. So, yeah. So, so hopefully that'll come to be. Uh, but this is also, this is the 55th anniversary of Star Trek in general, since the, since the original series. Yeah. Uh, it's played a huge part in so many people's lives. Oh, like in, in mine growing up, you know, watch it with my family. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you have a different, little, little different perspective because you've been on the show. But how has Star Trek affected you in your personal life outside of your professional life yeah in my personal life um, I'm gonna have to say that typically uh, when I'm at conventions I always end up meeting a certain fan or one or two fans that Star Trek has helped save their life you know that it's been the light at the end of the tunnel maybe stop them from um, doing harm to themselves or whatever it may be so that to me is probably the most important part of Star Trek is that it has been there as a way of um, lifting people up out of the the, the doldrums of life or, or, or depression or whatever it may be, right? So that to me is probably the most important thing of all. Uh, awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. I hope to see you or either hear you on Lower Decks or see you maybe on Picard or one of these other new shows that are coming up. So it would be so great to see you again. So fun. Thank you. Thank and you. I, and I love that you know your tricks. So. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, both of you, right? Yeah. 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 You're, you're, you're we got me into it. Oh, he's the one that started it? Oh. Yeah. So, so, what did, yeah, you, so what did you get him in on? So, so, so Deep Space Nine, yeah, Deep Space Nine. Uh, Far Beyond the Stars. Oh, okay. Good, good episode. We, we, were just, we were discussing uh, like episodes of shows that right. you don't need to know Right. Like outside of anything else, right, so I was like, right, "Here, right. watch this episode watch of Star this Trek," one. Yeah. and that was it. And you dug it, oh, yeah. Dude. Enterprise, I, I binged it like a month. The whole thing, <laughs> I, I, it got me through the Star Trek, got me through the pandemic. That, see, see, that's the thing. Have you heard the Delta Flyers podcast that I've been doing? Have you heard that yet? No, I like oh, it, it's, it's in my queue. Like I, gotta, I, have, I have it saved by. You gotta I listen it. to that one. Yeah. yeah, we've been having a grand old time with that. My God, it's been amazing. So, yeah. All right, awesome. thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.